In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I believe to be one of the best tips for running the dollar defense in a way that is going to significantly improve the coverage that you can create uh, from this formation. I think the dollar is an extremely versatile formation, and I actually think for a lot of reasons it's one of the better defenses, if not the number one defense this year. If you want to get my entire dollar 3 2 defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. We're actually updating the dollar 3 2 defensive ebook and completely revamping it this week. We've been dropping a ton of updates from a pressure perspective in terms of how to create the best blitzes in the game. But today we're gonna to be teaching you kind of a coverage concept that I really, really like out of the dollar defense. And what we're gonna do is we're in the 46 playbook. We're gonna be going through here and in our packages, what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and go over to the safeties package in the dollar defense. What that's going to do is it's going to put our starting safeties down here. Now, what you need to do with this is you still wanna keep whoever is your players down there. So you might need to sub them out and sub them back in. For me, I wanna have Calvin and Knight trading down there. And then at the top of the dollar defense, we wanna have Tariq Woolen and uh, Rand, or, uh, Rodney Harrison. And then at the linebacker position, you're gonna want your user to be on the left side, I believe, of the screen. Um, and then your other player here, we're gonna put Bo Jackson there. And then your corners are gonna be normal. And then on the down the line of scrimmage, you might need to double check and just make sure you have your linemen in. Now, the base defense from this is the DB Fire 2, but what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make sure that we have cover two in our audibles. Um, you can have a couple different variations uh, of cover two that exist in this formation. I personally like to have cover two sync because it's the most versatile coverage in the game. So we're gonna go cover two sync in our audibles, and then we're gonna come out in the play DB Fire 2. Now what you're gonna notice is specifically against gun tight, which is obviously the number one offense uh, this year, what you're gonna have with this, especially if you're baseline, you baseline press, if I try to put my corner, or uh, if I try to put these guys on the left side in zones, you're gonna see that on the left side of the screen, he could actually go into thirds, and the same thing over here. So what I can actually do with this is create some pretty crazy um, coverage concepts for example I could take both of these slot corners against compression and put them in outside thirds and then this right side uh, linebacker I could put him in a middle third and then with my safeties on the outside maybe we want to put them in uh, mid reads or we want to man them up on players that we think are going to be a problem this can create one of the best coverage defenses in the game with these outside third type of adjustments because as you can see that's going to bracket corner routes pretty pretty well now another thing that we can do from this is we can actually utilize this in our man defense dollar has really really good alignment for press man and so what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to put these safeties in outside thirds we're going to shade our coverage underneath and basically just play shaded down man this is a really really hard to beat as you can see again corner routes are bracketed and your safeties what i would recommend is that they have deep out zone knockout so it's going to make this even better now the last kind of format of this coverage defense is the cover to sink variation where both of our slot corners are going to be invert hooks. Now what this is going to do, we're going to make it look exactly like maybe we're you know trying to blow up the run or whatever, but now we have these vert hooks on the right side that are going to match corner routes, and then we're going to put both of our safeties at the top in outside thirds, and we're going to middle third this run, or this uh, middle linebacker, and what you're going to see is these outside thirds are just going to do such a good job at really limiting the effectiveness of these corner routes and bracketing them, and then when you have a vert hook underneath it, vert hooks do a really good job at stopping hitches, at stopping slants, at stopping, they sometimes will match um, if they're running like super deep vertical style passing concepts. So this is a super, super valuable uh, little concept. Again, you can do it out of man, you can do it out of zone. Um, another thing that I wanna quickly highlight is let's say that you're running this against maybe like someone that's running gun bunch for example so again we're in db fire 2 what you'll notice here though is on the left side i can put that safety in whatever i want on the right side however i can't put him in a third any longer all right so what we want to do is we want to go to that cover two sink again put these safeties on the outside and thirds maybe one of the ways that i like to do it um, specifically to bunch is we're gonna put that outside guy in a third, we're gonna put this guy in a third, and then we're gonna put that 
right side safety and third. So we're going to kind of roll our cover three over. And then the beauty of this is it allows us to take that middle linebacker and man him up on the slot receiver, who is the number one player that they're going to try to throw the ball to over here on the left side. And then maybe we want to man up the running back uh, or, you know, whatever we want to do. So we could do something like this. Another little cool thing we can do is we could do something like this, where we man the running back up with that safety there. And then we have this guy over here on the left in kind of a uh, kind of a rolled coverage uh, that's going to kind of take advantage of them if they're trying to throw any kind of skinny post over the middle. So as you see right here, you see how this third just really can bracket you know the skinny post really well, and then you also have um, that outside third for any kind of C route. So you see how this coverage can really be a nice little, I think just an extremely versatile concept uh, that you can cross apply to literally any offense in the game. Let's say, for example, that your opponent's running, uh, you know, trips tight in, right? And they want to run this verticals play, which everyone likes to run. We're going to audible to cover two sync. Again, you want to be baseline and press. You have to user this defender, unfortunately, um, because you'll see here, I can't put him in a middle third. But what I can do, let's say I, let's say I don't need to. So let's say, for example, um, on the right side, notice that there's the corner that is on the running back side, you can put him in thirds. So what I like to do with this is we could put this corner on the right side. Maybe we want to send him off of the edge or if we're playing more of a coverage version, then we can put him in the outside third and then we can roll the coverage to the trip side. As you can see right this right here. Now what we can do is this middle linebacker here on the left side, we can utilize him to kind of bracket that number that um, that number three receiver in the trips formation. And this vertical hook oftentimes will jump this streak that everybody likes to throw. So you see how you can use this tip to really kind of make some very versatile coverages within your dollar defense that go with the fact that it's the most effective blitz in the game. So if we wanted to just run standard DB fire two, we can still put these safeties on the outside in thirds. So what we can do here is we can create kind of a super uh, heavy pressure style look here you know and then again you know maybe you want to drop this guy into man coverage on that on that number two receiver and you want to take that number three receiver yourself um, and then you're going to kind of be basically you know trying to defend the seam another great way to do this is to take this right side guy and we're going to we're going to leave him in a deep half actually but this side we're going to third you know you can create some really unique coverages uh, from this look that can really take your defense to the next level if you guys want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook we go into more detail about how to utilize these different coverages to your advantage within the formation the link is down in the description to join the patreon ten dollars will get you access to all of our man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you guys over at the patreon page